Ding. Rampage. Hey everyone, welcome back for a special edition video about a few things you might have missed in Netflix's brand new horror masterpiece, The Haunting of Hill House. Warning, beyond this point, there are spoilers for people who have not seen this series. While watching this spine-tingling show for the first time, we noticed a few ghosts hidden in the background that were never acknowledged by any of the characters. We thought that was strange, and after a little more digging, realized there's tons of ghosts hidden in every episode. We really have to give credit to the director and talent here who are shooting scenes knowing ominous ghosts are all around them. Something like this has never been done before and literally we realized the ghosts were surrounding the family the entire time. Some of these ghosts are barely visible and out of focus while others are terrifyingly detailed and creepy. This video is for anyone brave enough to go ghost hunting with us but be warned this is not for the faint of heart. Starting in episode 1 we see something spooky right off the bat. If you look in the center window here, you'll see the outline of a head looking right back at you. This next one is blurry and out of focus and could just be a piece of furniture, but you decide. This one really creeped us out. Nice beautiful staircase shot, right? Wrong. In the first scene with Nell here, it's easy to focus on her talking about the bent neck lady, but if you look out the window to the right, this scene just got a whole lot scarier. When poor Nell is finally convinced that the bent neck lady has left, we see her lay down. The horrifying truth? She was there all along. This one here is very subtle and out of focus, although at the end of the scene when Hugh picks up Steve, we can clearly see a ghastly face watching the father and son moment. I promise. This next shot gives us a horrid hat trick with not one, not two, but three ghostly apparitions watching Hugh and Steven run for their lives. Here we see a very clear dark eyed face watching Olivia walk into the room. What the hell? That's just so weird. To start episode two, we have a less common outside daylight ghost watching Shirley. It's not really any less creepy though. In back-to-back -back ghost shots, we see what looks like a woman down the hallway to the right. As the shot zooms in on Olivia and the scene progresses, we see this ghost is very antsy as she moves around the room, sits down at the table, then gets up before finally leaving to go haunt someone else in the family. Episode 3 has some really alarming poltergeist sightings, and the first one's downright disturbing. It truly looks like this one is watching Theo. This shot makes you want to scream as the kids walk away and the blurry shape in the background comes into focus as we realize there's a ghost just standing there. As if the scene with Luke stuck in the dumb waiter wasn't horrible enough, upon a closer look and a little brightening, you'll see the faint outline of a long-haired ghost eavesdropping on Theo from the next room. This next one is kind of questionable, but we saw this pointed out by an eagle-eyed user on Reddit and we thought to include it and let you be the judge. Right here, if we isolate the doorway, zoom in and slow the speed, it appears there is a small orb of light moving downward. This could just be a fleck of dust in the camera, but we haven't seen anything like it in any other shot in any other episode and thought it was worth including. This is one of the first times we noticed these hidden ghosts and it really made us jump. If you look off to the left of where Innocent Theo is investigating, you'll see the hand and body of some kind of spirit just hanging out in the same room as Theo. So freaking creepy. This one is one of the worst. When you saw the ladder come down, chances are you didn't stop and look beneath the rungs. Young Theo will eventually climb down. What the fuck? This already jarring shot gets a lot more intense when you look into the room off to the right. It feels like they're always there watching. You could easily focus on young Theo during this shot and probably better if you did because if you notice this psychotic Uncle Fester looking ghost, you might not sleep too well later. In this sweet scene between Olivia and young Theo, the figure all the way into the background watching adds a menacing effect once you know she's there that you just can't forget about. This one is truly terrifying. You can't make out what it is, but almost every other ghost never moves. This one is under the table and it's clearly moving. We kind of don't want to know what this thing looks like. As a frightened Hugh runs out with the twins, we see a very silent and disturbing ghost just watching them. In the last ghost of the episode, at first we didn't notice this, but when Hugh goes to grab Theo, we see what is definitely a hand attached to yet another haunted body. Episode 4 starts the ghostivities with young Luke being watched by some kind of apparition in the next room. As Hugh and Olivia get some much needed quality time, the ghost down the hallway proves that three is definitely a crowd. Young Luke is a cute kid, but you know what's not cute? That ghost in the background just staring at him. Ugh. Most people probably notice this one, but we're putting it on here just in case. This old lady ghost doesn't seem to like young Luke touching her stuff. As little Luke runs down the stairs, scared out of his mind, we're actually thankful that he didn't notice these Michael Myers looking ghosts off to the right. For the rest of the episode, we couldn't spot any more hidden ghosts, but the hat man is spooky enough. For episode 5, the first hidden ghost we spot is when Nell goes to Olivia for comfort after another bent neck lady sighting. How the hell does this little girl not get freaked out by the ghost right over her mother's shoulder? 
This spirit is a little more subtle, but the hands on the ground underneath the piano? Come on, that's seriously hair-raising. Next up, we realize we have a twofer in this scene. A second ghost has been standing in the corner watching young Nell all along. The next one shows up as an alive Nell enters the house for the very last time. It's probably just a statue, but we weren't sure, so we'll let you decide. This next one doesn't appear to be a ghost, but we can't explain why the bottom of the lamp looks like a big-headed skeleton. Can you? Our last shot for the episode, the ghosts aren't really hidden, but seriously, guys? Way to break up a romantic moment. Episode 6 starts off with a very subtle ghost watching as Shirley and Theo look at Nell in her coffin. Why can't these ghosts just get a life? This shot here isn't exactly hidden, but we thought it was cute all the kids were together again. This next shot is easy to miss and subtle at first as the only time you see Bet Neck Lady is when the lightning flashes. This next shot is debatable, but we think there's definitely something there. If you look at the chair in the corner, you see what appears to be two feet standing behind it and the top of a head at the top of the chair. Is this a ghost of a little person or just some eerie apparition? These next shots aren't exactly a hidden ghost, but they kind of are. In the first shot, you see the statues facing towards you. However, in this next shot, one of the statues is now facing Olivia before it goes back to normal the next time we see Hugh. Moving statues? Okay, we're done. The first couple of shots we have for episode 7 shows a little blur in the background, but it could be anything, right? When the background comes into focus, we see what has clearly been another ominous specter watching Hugh try to break into the room with the red door. This next shot is a real creeper as we see yet another ghost silently watching while Hugh chips away at one of the house's mysteries. Here we realize we have another twofer as Hugh falls back and we see a second lost soul watching him from the background. When Hugh goes back in for a closer look, we get an even better shot of the first ghost just staring at him. This one is flat out sinister as we notice that behind the sheriff in the background, an unwelcome witness is watching with their hand up against the doorway. For episode 8, although this one wasn't hidden, we wanted to point out the clock worker who is in fact a ghost that is referenced later in the show as we missed him the first time around. This one isn't hidden, but this moment is so intense we had to throw it in. Episode 9 starts off with an early ghost as we see a real creeper peering in through the window. Next up as Hugh carries young Luke off to bed, we notice yet another terrifyingly quiet ghost watching from the dining room. Once you see this next one, you can't unsee it. A very hollow-eyed, ghoulish face is watching Shirley as she talks to Olivia. In this next shot, we see the same ghost once again just watching, judging. This next ghost comes up quick and is easy to overlook. But if you look all the way to the left, you see an ominous figure just standing in the room as Olivia passes. Here we see about the millionth ghost of the series watching as Olivia is questioning her sanity. They're everywhere, people. This seems like a nice family moment, right? Until you notice demented Uncle Fester watching Olivia leave in the background. Mommy? Up next is another staircase specter. As you look off to the right in the room, you clearly can see a dark shadow. These ghosts aren't hidden here, but the moment when Hugh realizes just how haunted his house is was worth seeing again. The season finale didn't have that many ghosts hidden as all of them decided to come out in the open for the big finish. We kept this image of the Hatman in here because Steven's face is basically what we look like trying to find all the ghosts and not really wanting to see them. Here we see another ghost hidden in the background by the window, watching as Steven is figuring out just how haunted Hill House really is. And what is possibly the last hidden ghost of the season, we see a very blurry shape that appears to be a shadowy ghost in the background as poor Mr. Dudley carries his murdered daughter out of the house. After watching the show again and finding all these hidden creepers in every episode, we kind of felt like Steven did as he was leaving the house. They're literally everywhere. Thanks so much for watching our video, everybody. Did you notice any hidden ghosts that we missed? What do you think of the questionable ones that we pointed out? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram at Binge Rampage. Turn on the notifications button for our channel so you can see our next video as soon as it comes out. And don't forget to subscribe. Happy Halloween. And I see an accident waiting to happen if you don't pull those down. Bodies swinging back and forth right there. Yeah.